And of course, joining us via Skype from the UK is the CEO of Diaspora PR, Jermaine mm. Sawolu. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Uh, good morning. Good to see you, uh, Jermaine. Uh, what good are your morning. thoughts about the developments yesterday in Nigeria's hallowed chambers, which uh, our guest has described as hallowed. hollow? Hollow chamber. Uh, hollow chamber. We, we really do hope and wish that um, people in Nigeria and also um, um, we'll see the, that hallowed chamber as um, something of pride, something that Nigerians um, actually respect. Because what happened yesterday, um, as um, the Senate spokesman, um, Senator Abdullahi, said, was an act of treason. But I also see it as an act of terrorism. Now, I use that word very cautiously mm -hmm. because the, uh, terrorism is defined as the unlawful use of violence or intimidation against civilians with political aims. Now, look at what happened. Everything fits the definition of an act of terror against people. Um, last year, we saw something like this happen in the United Kingdom, whereby someone um, actually uh, um, went to the area of parliament and um, struck some people down there with a car and they came out with knives and all that. But here what we are seeing is blows, chairs, these are things that could be used as weapons to intimidate senators and all for political aims. And what we see right now is that most of those um, constitutional amendments that were meant to be um, put in place have been dropped. They have been intimidated through the use of violence. That's why I see it as an act of terrorism and it will be taken um, as such. Just a few days ago, um, what happened was that the Senate, um, the Senate actually accused the service chiefs and said, you know what, and they should all be sacked. And all of a sudden we see a security breach. Um, in, 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 in the Senate, whereby it seems everybody just hands down from the main gate. I've been to the um, House before and the Senate before. The main gate, they allow them to come in. After that, they also allow them to come into um, the gate accessing the Senate. And even the, the, there's so much screen in there. But these men, hoodlums, um, how did they get access? Were they escorted by someone? We have to look at these things because this is an attack on our democracy and we must not be coward we must rise up and say those bills that needed to be passed will be passed and we must stand up for democracy and not be intimidated by such acts of treason and also terror as i defined earlier uh, what do you think this speaks of nigeria's democracy uh, which is about 19 years old now the latest democracy we are enjoying uh, do you see it as politics of uh, personal interest or not well, you're absolutely right. It's, it appears to be politics of personal interest. And what we are seeing right now, though we know that Nigeria's democracy is growing, um, those that we try and um, 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 exemplify um, the UK and America have been existing for a long period of time. But when we see situations like this, whereby people with personal interest call them um, pro Buhari groups or not, um, 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 just like the distinguished senator um, right now, um, Senator Abdullahi Adamu, um, could not actually expressly condemn the act in clear terms. You begin to wonder what is actually going on in our country. It's an issue of leadership whereby the people in authority have to stand united and say, you know what, we don't want to see this kind of things happen. Um, you are elected as a senator or as a governor or as a president, not to represent your own political or personal <coughs> interest, but to represent the interest on the of the people. And I'm sure that many Nigerians, over 180 million, would not be impressed about what happened. We see this not just being um, um, a, 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 an outside this <coughs> regard to the rules of law because section 17 subsection 2 of the um senate um, um standing order as amended 2015 says that no one can just walk into um um the the senate without being invited that was first violated and um senator um, um omar gege that was actually suspended also um we insisted he wanted to be there and when it came chaos occurred so we have to look at this holistically and say that Personal interest needs to be put aside. Um, those people who, who, who call themselves poor Buharis have to actually not do a bad to the brand called Buhari. They have to start doing good because when we see someone who is a poor Buharis coming into the Senate and causing so much confusion with those standing next to him, we see a senator who cannot outrightly condemn that. We see a governor who, is, who, who says that who went to um, 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 bulldoze a building in Kaduna, mm -hmm. um, all in the name of differentiation. And these are all poor Buharis. For the brand Buhari, um, we have to actually guard it. We have to see that the president comes out and dissociates himself from all these kind of acts carried out 
quote and unquote in his name. We need a democracy that will be people-centered, not personality-driven. We need a democracy whereby Nigerians can begin to see the, demo, the dividends of that democracy and people will not feel threatened because of their political inclinations. In the UK, there are different parties. In the America, there are different parties. We should have different parties who can come out and stand and say, you know what, we represent mm. the people, not okay. our own personal interests. All right, Jermaine Songwolu, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah. I always look forward to your contribution on the show.